All right. Uh, recently, one of the student actually uh, sent me about this trigo question, and then the student trying to ask me to help uh, him, I believe it's a him, to solve these questions. Um, at first, I thought this is a quite complicated type of the trigonometry questions. But after I read carefully, I realized it's quite easy. Um, but I think it might confuse some of the students here. I mean, in my YouTube channel, this is the reason why I will discuss these questions. Because normally, if the question is too easy, I just uh, don't feel to discuss. One of the reasons is, yeah, it's just too easy, nothing much I can teach. But anyways, um, let's have a look on these questions. So the question asks you to find the value of a and b, which satisfy the equation cos bracket 2a plus b equals 0 0.3 and cos 2a minus b equals 0 0.6. If uh, they give you a range for the angle 2a plus b is between 0 and 90 and the angle for 2a minus b is between 0 to 90 as well. Um, Okay, before we start to do this kind of question, because whenever we see something like cos A plus B, we might think we need to use the formula for cos A plus B. This is what I thought at the beginning as well. But then, in fact, actually, you do need to do that. Um, okay, so for this kind of question, first thing I will focus on this one. This is exactly same angle over here. So when, when they tell you, I don't, I don't care what is this angle, I just assume this is just X here. So if... if x here is between 0 and 90 it tells you what if i solve this cos uh if i solve this cost equation i will only get the angle at the first quadrant because 0 to 90 will be first quadrant isn't it so same idea 2a minus b i'm going to call it as y here so therefore the y is between 0 and 90 right then cos y is at the first quadrant as well. So that means I only have one angle. Because whenever we solve the trigonometry questions, right, we, yeah, we always have a loss of answer. So range, this one we call range, you know, it plays a very important rule to tell us like, how many answer we should take. All right, so nice, only one quadrant and all the value here is positive, so it will be uh, quite easy to solve. So nah, let's stop, let's solve it. Okay. So, we have a cos 2a plus b equals to 0 0.3. So, what I will do first is definitely I want to change my calculator into the degree because the range uh, of 2a plus b is in terms of degree. So, I do not want my angle in radian. So, I will just make sure I change my calculator to degree and then I will tap. I will move my cost to the other side, it will get inverse cost 0 0.3. And I just type into the calculator. Calculator should tell me a quite nice answer here, uh, which is 72.54 degree. Okay, you can change it in your degree and minutes if you want to, but over here I, I just leave in everything in degree first. Yeah, this is my first equation. Right, you re you realize I doesn't make B a subject or A as a subject here because yeah maybe I will change it later, but right now I just feel to live in this pattern first, and then I have another equation, so another equation is cos two A minus B equals to zero point six. Alright, I will do the same thing here. I will move my cos to the other side. It will become inverse cos 0 0.6. So I will, I will just straight away type into the calculator. Just save some time here. So I will get 53.13 degree. This one as my second equation. Alright, so because why I want to live like this? Because I realize I can actually do the elimination methods. So what I will what I want to do here is, if I want to use the elimination matrix, what I will do here is, okay, maybe I will use, I want to 2a minus 2a. So I will say I will use the first equation minus my second equation. So you can imagine, uh, maybe I write at the bottom here, it's easier for student to imagine here. Okay, if I use the first equation, which is this one, minus the second equation, now you imagine 2a minus 2a give me zero. So I will not write the zero here. And then b minus negative b will give me 2b. And then this one, yeah, I just minus, I just use the 72.54. 72.54. 
72.54 minus 53.13 then I will get the angle 19.4 degree and then B will just divide it by 2 so I divide it by 2 so I will get 9.7005 so if I change into degree and minutes I can do that so it's just like 9 degree and 42 minutes or I can leave in the degree in no problem so I will just say uh, yeah one of the answer or you can say it's 9.71 degree yeah. right then uh, if then I will need to find A, doesn't it? So if I want to find A, I will do the same thing. Maybe I just do 1, just like it's 1 minus 2. Because right now I want to find A, doesn't it? I already have B. Yeah, I can sub the B into any any of it. Lah. So I will just say sub B equals to 9.71 into the first equation. Just do the simultaneous, all right? So this is 2A plus 9.71 equals to 72.54 right then I can solve it and get my A so I will just say 72.54 minus 9.71 so I will get 62.83 then I divide it by 2 then I will get my A equals to um, let's say I want to live in degree and minutes 31 degree 20 25 minutes or I should will live in degree which is I always prefer live in degree 31.42 degree right yeah because at first I thought I kind of need to expand the the uh, the cos A minus B thing but then yeah in this one they just ask us to solve so yeah this is how we solve this thing so yeah in mathematics sorry um, something is quite important is we always have to make sure we understand what the question want to try to avoid to do uh, some extra step because it's going to burn a loss of your time and make make you can't finish uh, some other important questions so yeah, so make sure you read the question before you start to do it. Alright, I guess that's all for this video. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.